So, and that's what the second one does. It folds up into that. So there's your your cup and your bowl in the lid, taken care of in the lid. These are just a couple sheets of tin foil, um, 18 by 18 inches heavy duty tin foil. That that'll have its uses too. You could cook with that if you had to. Now in here I got basic food items, enough food for three or four people. Here we got four paper towels because that was all I could fit in there. More paper towels go to the bottom. And then, no, we'll start with what I have in the top for food stuff. I got sugar. There's about two teaspoons, heaping teaspoons of each one. So how many sugars do I got? One, two, three, four sugar. I got grape juice. These are good for about one of one of these. You may, and you fill this up to just about you know cup level, and that would make so those those are that size. And you notice how I repacked everything. I used to just throw it in the commercial packing, however it came, the juice crystals, that kind of thing, into the bigger thing. But to pack things tighter, and when you make them smaller, and never fill up the bag if you want to pack things tight. Never make it completely full, about half full, and then it'll flatten out better and pack better. So we got. Three grape juice, three orange juice. Well, here's another sugar. So we got five sugar. Well, okay, now what's going on with this? These are dried vegetables. They were dehydrated vegetables. Carrots, onions, celery, garlic. And I put them in the food processor, turned them into powder. That's kind of makes soup stock. Okay, these things you can probably see some of them already here's a little string that's part of the hardware i'll show you that later um pure semi-sweet chocolate baker's chocolate this is good stuff to have um, i got i got foods with the highest calorie density and nutritional density i could so this is these they pack them so they look like that there's two two in a in a bar if you snap them in half cut them in half and then turn one of them upside down you can pack five bars into the space of four and that's what i have here and then dates i like dates a little for fit more but dates again a little snack nice little treat packed up nice um we'll keep moving here we've got beef jerky 80 grams jack links it's a good beef jerky and so that's another high calorie food Um, we got about two cups of pasta, spaghettini, because it packs the tightest, it's the smallest, and it cooks the quickest. You don't have to boil water that much. There's about two cups of spaghettini, about two, two or three cups of rice. So there's rice. I wonder if I'm getting enough room around the room here. I want to stick to the hardware. A can of beef stew. I notice. It fit <laughs> the cake pan, so that's right there. Or corned beef, Mario's corned beef, a can of corned beef, and two coffee. And this should go down there, I guess. There's two coffee to go with the sugar. I'm not big on coffee. And then we have four bouillon cubes. These are beef, a vegetable stock. There's chicken and uh, beef stock, but in a nod to vegetables <laughs> in all of this, I put in uh, four chicken stock, or vegetable stock, pardon me, vegetable stock. Oh, and that's what, oh yeah, it's salt and pepper shaker. This is salt and pepper mixed together, and you got to recognize it, it's a Tic Tac container. You would have to be a little careful, pop that up, and there's salt and pepper for your cooking. Okay, now the rest of this is kind of hardware. There's matches. There's a lighter. Now, if you're going to put a lighter in a survival kit, notice what I did here. Silicone sealant for bathtubs and that kind of stuff. I put a glob of it on to prevent this from being triggered while it's in the can. And so, so it'll last for years. And this stuff is really easy to peel off when you get out there. And so you'd peel that off and that, that would let the lighter go down. It makes it easy to peel off and that. Like I say, that keeps the lighter. This is a piezoelectric lighter. It doesn't use a flint. It uses a little piezo. It makes a little electric spark start. And I figure that's more reliable. So that along with the matches is for fire business. Now for utensils, 
I got not a fork and a spoon. Notice this, the fork is flat. You know, who needs does a fork? Have, fork have to be curved, and the spoon flattened out as much as a spoon. And this is just a cheap Dollarama knife with a bit of an edge on it. I sharpened a little bit. I cut the handle off to make it fit better in the kit. I thought about cutting the handle off of the fork and spoon, but in hot liquids and that kind of thing, I'm near the fire. You want as much reach sometimes as you can for that. So that's part of the hardware side of it. Um, a little bar of soap that I cut out of a bigger bar. And this is one of those little towels. This is one of those little towels that uh, it's compressed and you put it in water and it ends up being a face cloth so you can clean your hands or wash your hands up. Wash up. So that's what that is, that goes along with the soap. And that's about it for the content. So you can make a few good meals, two or three good meals. There's enough food here. Then uh, for three or four days, you wouldn't really be hungry. You could make a couple of soup four times. You got a few snacks, juice in the morning. Uh, you could actually make with the dates, some of the dates and the, the rice, you could make rice pudding. And maybe some of the fruit powders, you could make rice pudding and sugar and have that. And I'd make that at night, let it sit overnight. So we'll do some cooking with some of this stuff. That's about as much. Now you can vary that. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, I don't know, tofu or something, um, some of those baby bell cheeses or something like that, where it's encased in wax and it'll last for years and years, you can throw some of that in. So anyways, that's the food items, all the food items in, in the tray. I'll briefly cover the stove. There's a little bit more of the hardware now. I originally thought of this design. Oh, where can I put this? Where oh, I was going to be in sight. Hopefully you can still all see that. I want to get this up closer. Okay, can you see that? Now my first design was I was using skewers like this, three bucks, to make some of the hardware. And so this is one of the options you could consider. Make something like this, depending on space. And then you would tie that together with string and you got handles to hold it with. I used to handle it. That was one idea, but I wasn't happy with that. And so I came up with these. You can try something like this. Same kind of ideas. Handles to hold it with, or you can hang it over the fire. You could put a log through it like this and hang it over a fire, that kind of thing. But, those the skewers were large, so I ended up using coat hangers, and this is my design so far for this kind of thing. Okay, now, yeah, you can do this. That's one thing, this choice. And then you got that, you got it for handles. And this harness, see this little harness? I might show that later, I'll demo that. There's a way to tie that on here so you can hang it over the fire. It comes together about that big now. But when I was doing the, the other handles, I got this idea. You can put it in this way. Put them in upside down the other way. And then because of the curve, you can set it down like that. Now, I'm not happy with the bend of these. These are long because to make this perfectly safe, you have to bend this all the way down so that the pan doesn't slide down with the handle. You have to bend these in. So I left them a little long for now. I might change that design. I have another one. But anyways, that sits like that. The pan keeps it from, from falling in. That gives you a pretty stable setup. I haven't got that quite remote. So there, that you can stand over a fire or something like that. What I want to do is, 
stand it over the tea light. And I've done it. I, I, I could 12 tea lights fit under here or eight. And it's enough. You could heat up a can of beans and stuff and you could put under the fire, that kind of thing. I'm still, that's still a work in progress. But you, you, this would certainly work over a campfire that you could just put that right down on the coals. It's cookware. Most of the things I see like this, they're little tiny tins. They're about this big little square things. And I thought about buying some of them, stainless steel and all that kind of stuff. But they're not really made for cooking. I don't know that they'd hold up. This is like Betty Crocker cookware. It's good solid metal. And like I said, that you can put down on the fire and let it cook and, and or on logs, that kind of thing. But like I said, you can also get this harness and you can hang it. So, and obviously it'd work on a, any other thing like a camp stove or anything like that. See, I gotta modify this. I gotta do this like that to get those off. Let's make sure it does. So that's the stove. Now I included a couple little pieces of wire like this. And these are so you can take one of these if you need to. Bend it. Let's hang and bend it sides down. And you can tie that together with a string if you had to. Oops. You can squeeze that down if it holds it in there. And that you could put on the fire and boil water in or, or hang over the fire with a little piece of string. That's what this little piece of string in the hardware kit is. It? So this is just, this is the hardware end of it all. Oops. Those three sheets, with a little bit of wire and tin foil. That's the, all the hard rating. Like I say, less than ten bucks. The food actually probably cost more. So we'll try some cooking and warming up food with this outfit in a little while. We'll make some soups and stuff from what we have here. So that's it for this time around. Good hunting and sweet water, my friends.